हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डीके गौतम एंड वेलकम टू यू अगेन इन माय YouTube चैनल इंटरव्यू वन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू राइट द लॉजिक फॉर पास्कल ट्रायंगल पैटर्न ओके सो नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस पास्कल पैटर्न प्रोग्राम इफ यू टिल नॉट टिल नाउ डिड नॉट वॉच माय प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इज नथिंग बट दिस दिस पैटर्न प्रोग्राम देन प्लीज Watch this video because this video I am going to use the logic for this program. Okay, so I will copy the code from this program and paste it in this program. So I have written this code here. The same code I am going to copy and paste in my new file. Okay, so if you before going to start this program. First, watch my previous video. If you will not, did not watch, then I am I'm going to start. So I am going to start Pascal triangle. Okay. Pascal pattern. Okay. So I have here main matter, num variable for this. Ask the user for entering the row to initialize in num variable. So now, now understand the logic for this Pascal triangle. So first we need to understand what is Pascal triangle. So we can see in this picture, it is same, looks like this because in first row I want to print only one star, in second row two star, in third row three star, fourth row four star. Okay, like that same here. In the first row, I want to print one value. In the second row, I want to print two value. In the third row, I want to print three value. So now understand. So how it will come? So what is Pascal triangle? So if first value, this is my first value. How I will get this value? So this value is nothing but this value. So how I will get this value? This value is nothing but this value. So now program is start from here. Actually, how this value will come? So this value will come after adding this value and this value, then I will get two. Okay. So after that, this value will come from here. Okay. This one will come from here. It is always start from one, and then again it will it will add two. So now the next in this fourth row how i will get 3 and 3 okay so now understand in the third row this one will is nothing but this one okay so in this this one will come from here and how i will get this 3 so this 3 i will get after adding this 2 and 1 1 plus 2 is 3 okay so how i will get this a next number so is nothing but 2 plus 1 is 3 okay so like that 2 and 1 i will get 3 and here also 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 okay so like that it will again the next third row fifth row i will get this one from here and this four from here 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 and 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 and 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 like that our program is executed okay so for Finding this value, we will use our formula is NCR is nothing but factorial of R upon R factorial into n minus R factorial. So n is nothing but here row value. Okay, it will start from zero row value, and R is column value. So it is our column value. Okay, so it is always start from zero. So here row value is zero. So Zero C zero. Okay, so here it will again start from zero. So, but it is row value, so it will come here. So row value part now. Okay, so one C zero. We can say one C zero. And here it is row is same. So one C one. Here now C value will be one. Okay, here C value is zero. Here one. Here C value is zero. Here C value is one, and here C value is 
to like that. And here the n value will be uh, 2, 2, and 2. So 2, c, r, 2, c, 0, 2, c, 1, and 2, c, 2, like that. Here also, so in the in this row, I will get 3, c, 0, 3, c, 1, 3, c, 2, 3, c, 3, like that, we will get. So now, I am going to, I have just copied the program, so don't worry, I will show you the output. After first, we need to write the logic for this pattern, this uh, partial prime pattern. Okay, so we need to change this code here. So, up, suppose if I will start from 0, then also no problem. Okay, and I will execute till here less than. Okay, because I will start from 0, then less than now. If I will start from 1, then I less than equal to now. Okay, so in this row, so I will start from j value is equal to num, num is nothing but user enter value suppose 5. Okay, so i j greater than i and j minus minus. So I want to print here space. Okay, after that, you you already watched my video previous, then you can understand easy. Okay, so here the the loop page start from here for the Pascal drawing up. Okay, so it is the most important to understand. So here if we need to declare one more variable, if nothing but I am going to declare a in well. First we need to print the value of some variable. So I have declared well well variable. You can declare anything, no problem. But I start from one. Okay. So it will start from one. So I have started j from zero to j less than equal to of i and j plus. So first I want to print the value of twelve. Okay, so now I will print twelve. It will print one first time. Okay, after that, what I want to print? We need to find out the sum of well value. Okay, we need to find out the well value by formula. As you already know. So, well is equal to well asterisk and i. i is nothing but our row, the j is nothing but column. Okay. So, you can write here row and column, no problem. So, so I am going to write i minus j. Okay. I is nothing but row, j is nothing but column value. You can see in this formula. Okay. So after that, what I want to do here, I want to divide from j. J is nothing but column value plus 1. Okay. J plus 1. So it is the logic. Okay. So I save this program. My program file name is Pascal data. Pascal pattern. Okay, dot Java. Pascal pattern dot Java. It's safe. My program file is in E drive. At E drive, I have folder work on Java. So my file is going to save in this folder. So now going to run Windows key plus R. So open command. Ed. I want to go to my e drive. I have e drive bottom Java folder. Bottom Java. So I want to compile my program first. Pascal pattern dot Java. Okay. Enter. Program compile successfully. Pascal pattern. Okay, it will ask to us. So something is missing. Class name Pascal pattern are are only accepted if annotator processing is explicitly requested. One error. Okay, so we need to find out the error. Where is the error? So 
I think there is no mistake, so we need to check. Actually, I have here. She is not the guardian. So now enter the value. Suppose five. Now you can see our output is expected. Now I am going to run again. I need to. Now I am going to here eight. So now you can see our output is expected. So it is the value is. Some the actually this is no error because here we will get two digits that's why it is, looks like okay so if we this is if we give the same correct output output is also correct here okay no problem so this is our Pascal pattern Pascal triangle program okay. so thank you for watching these videos for more videos don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel interview point okay you can meet us on my facebook page and if you need code then you can visit my blog my blog is this okay so like and share this video with your friends and don't miss to watch my every tutorial okay i will give you the link of that every tutorial in the description box so thank you and all the best